Look at that gorgeous beast in the wild. Look at her roar. Courtney, that's your cue to roar. Can you roar? Blur. Ooh, what a beast. Be careful not to piss her off. Roar. Hello, folks, and welcome back to another week of hardcore vlogging. <laughs> Hope that you guys had a beautiful weekend. I woke up feeling very spirited today. Like I was, I'm in such a good mood and I'm wondering why, which I guess is a little sad. Like I could just accept that I'm in a good mood, but I thought then maybe it's because I have a new coffee maker and your girl is pumped up. This is such an old school uh, coffee maker. I think it's called a percolator. Is that, did I make that up? Anyways, it makes a good hot cup of coffee. So I'm inspired to vlog today, so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. You in the mood to vlog today? What's up? Yeah! Yeah! Yesterday I took the day off from vlogging, but we ended up having like the best day ever. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm just hoping it ends on the exciting note that I think it's gonna end. It sure is. So I got Jeff an Xbox for Christmas, as you all know. And you know, I'm not a good gamer. I don't really, I don't know. I guess I just don't have like the coordination or the experience. I don't know. I'm just not good at it. I'm not good. It's generous. Okay, I'm terrible. I am a terrible gamer, as my husband will be the first to tell you. But we finally landed on a game that we could both enjoy and love and be terrible at together. I think that's the key, is that you're also terrible at the game. I am a screenwriter, and this is when you put in the script, cut to, giving you the option there if you want Well, to did cut. you take a video of it? We'll do it tonight. Well, we're, we will for sure show you tonight. This is horrifying. There's another beast in this house. Um, does this thing have a name? No, it's called, I stole that from a very famous puppet company that you all know that I can't name. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. And now it just, like, haunts us. Well, the game, you know what? I could do a cut to you, or I could leave you on a cliffhanger for later tonight. I'm gonna, we're gonna cliffhang this. You gotta wait till the end to see what game it is that we're both gonna play and that we're both terrible at, so stay tuned. You wanna tee it up? Okay, hold on. There are times in your life when you make fun of something, but inside of you, you make fun of that thing because of secret jealousy. Did we make fun of this game? Of course we did. And then it's like, wouldn't it be silly if we downloaded it? I mean, it's free on the Game Pass or whatever. It's like, yeah, we'll download it. It's a silly thing. And then it's like, yeah, we'll play it. We'll play it for like five minutes because it's silly. Hour and a half later. We played it for a really long time. Oh, I'm in. Dude, I really went hard on my eyebrows, but I'm kind of loving them. Did you notice, Jeff? I noticed every micro change, each one more beautiful than the last. You did say yeah, yeah. <laughs> You did say I look good, so okay. Yes. Eyebrows extreme. Feeling the lighting, just feeling myself, guys. Last week I was down on myself. This week I'm turning it around. It's all because of that game, Jeff. Uh, actually, real question, you guys. Jeff wanted to know if I wanted to start doing my gaming, like my weekly gaming try. You guys, the mm. was a mess. No, it's but a... I've been thinking all day about how to make improvements. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. <laughs> you guys, what are your rules about gaming on YouTube? Like, how do you think the global conglomerate behind mm. Simulator is gonna come after you? with the might of their legal team and crush you like the oh my god, you are. so many spoilers. Okay, now you guys know. You don't have to stay to the end, but I highly suggest that you do, that we are playing a game, which is hysterical and way harder, way harder than we expected. Or, in the spirit of Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill, one of my favorite movies, you can bleep out the name of the video game until the end. Oh. Stimulator. See? All you heard was a beep, but maybe you could read my lips. Let us know in the comments below. Anyways, if I wanted to like share my screen and not do it via Twitch, like do it on YouTube, can we still do that? I can't remember what the monetization rules are. I guess I should know these things. After all these years, still can't figure it out. What are you doing, little corn? Are you just resting? Corny, say hi. 
Oh, it's that time for the corn cam. Corn cam. Oh, you gorgeous beast. I love you. All right, let's make some lunch. Hi, they're doing construction upstairs, which is um, a nightmare, like really loud. And it's been going on forever, which like, listen, I get it. You gotta do what you gotta do, but holy moly, this morning between that and the gardeners, Jeff and I were about to, uh, between that and the gardeners, Jeff and I were going a little insane this morning. Anyway, should we make some lunch? Lunch, Jeff's favorite word, lunch. Been on a tuna kick, I'm always on a tuna kick. But um, I think I should probably slow down the tuna because what's in tuna that's gonna kill me? Mercury. Yeah, too much mercury, but I just really like it so much. I try to get a wild caught, oh, wild caught, all that stuff. Hear that pounding? Trying to eat at home more than ordering in. I was tempted to order a salad today, but I realized I can just make my own. Just living and learning, folks, living and learning. Saving up so we can go on our honeymoon. Tuna. So I feel like pe people have different ways of doing their tuna. My grandma used to like like horseradish or like something kind of random inside of it. I uh, found this vegan mayo that I like. I know the irony of vegan mayo with tuna, but life is full of contradictions. Honey, I'm making tuna content. Yeah, I know. Just favorite. But this is the Primal Kitchen Vegan Mayo. I saw that they have a rosemary one that I think I'll get next. I got my cup she, uh, my next cup she order delivered today. So if I have it in me, I'm going to film that. So either, yeah, that will be up later this week, hopefully. Um, which I love doing those. I just think that they're fun and the company is really nice and affordable and I have pretty good success with them. However, um, they always like cram in a few bathing suits into the package and I'm not really in the mood to put on a bathing suit on camera, but trying this new positive spin on self love. I'm gonna put some onions in there. I put onions on everything. Did you hear me crunching corn? I can't eat a carrot without corny coming to get one for herself. Like even if I try to crunch so soft, she always hears. A little salt and pepper. I brought some spicy mustard and I feel like that's a thing people do with tuna, right? Is that first? Some avocado. But I eat avocado with everything. I feel like almost every meal, like California thing. Did you grow up with avocados? I grew up in New York. You all didn't have them? And then I'm gonna put it on um, some of this kale salad that uh, we got from Whole Foods that I love so very much. It's got kale and pine nuts and so many cranberries, far too many cranberries. I'll try to eat around those, but delicious. Suddenly like I had a a moment where I felt like I was Mr. Rogers for a second. I was really feeling myself. <laughs> I'll change my sweater and shoes after. Okay, look how many freaking cranberries are in there. Nobody needs to eat that many cranberries. Now we have our kale tuna avocado salad. You guys, Chuck update. He legit like. <laughs> Oh my gosh. She didn't know what to do. <laughs> she didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh my god. He legit waits for his nuts. It's hysterical. I Look at him. Are you nuts? I gotta give him nuts. Dude, you gotta give him his Bella, nuts. Are you still there? No, she's gone. She, she loved it though. I don't know. She was like, these fucking people. Look at him. A dinner time. Chuck, you nuts, monster. Setting the table. <laughs> what do you think? Hates it. Hates it. I mean, it's a that lady looking at the tables. She was horrified. 
She's confused, excited, and horrified. I think I like, I think she liked it. No one said anything about us having that out there. Nobody wants to talk to the people with the squirrel table. When someone has a squirrel table, stay far away from them. <laughs> Don't knock on their door. Don't trust them. Yeah. It's either you're going to get killed or you're going to get trapped in a conversation. Fair. That's a squirrel table. And now we have this kid thing we outside. We don't have that. You have uh, Yo, back to wearing my jacket inside. So cold. Guys. They have been aggressively pounding upstairs for the last like two hours. I'm going insane. I um, am good friends with my neighbor who lives literally next door. And so her and I are just complaining over text message about the sounds. 2022, more positive, baby. Um, anyways, I turn on the camera to ask you guys, should I cut bangs? <laughs> you know, we all have those questions. I don't want bang bangs. Bang, bang, bang on the ceiling, baby. Um, but I was thinking like those little, what are they called? Like window bangs? You know what I'm talking about? Like little swoop bangs to give me a little bit more of like that 70s vibe. I feel like I always try it, it never works. Stop me from cutting bangs. Everybody, stop me from cutting bangs. Yo, check out these lady slippers. I'm kind of obsessed with these. Hi. <laughs> the rest of me. Um. I just finished a cup she try on video, as you can see. Spoiler alert, they have slippers now. But yeah, it was really fun. And I slipped some things in there that I'm wondering if the brand is gonna allow me to keep. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming later this week. I really enjoy doing those try ons. And I mean, now I'm just like spoiling it, but I will say, this doesn't look like anything at this moment, but I did get some really great pieces. So this is going in the wash to keep pile. We love a pile. All right, currently making dinner, almost nine o'clock. Jeff, I feel, are you proud of me? I feel like I'm living my European life recently. Yeah, you're really burning the candle. <laughs> I feel like I'm staying up late and waking up a little bit later than usual. So you were up at like 6.30 this morning. That's because there was so much activity upstairs and the gardeners. I also, our, Jeff, I love our 6.30 in the morning conversations. I do too, actually. Jeff and I happen to like wake up in the middle of the night at the same time and in the morning and we always like make a We both like crack jokes, but neither of us respond and then we- I don't want to disturb the other one, but then we're both <laughs> sitting there both awake and it's like, should we talk? Say hi. Oh, you look cute. Jeff always gets nervous getting on camera and I think that he's just the cutest thing in the whole world. Oh, my babe. Jeff does this thing, everybody. I'm right here. At 7 a.m., like on the dot, you groan like the loudest, like, ugh. Like, Comes on out. And it wakes me up every morning, and I'm like, I guess I'm up. Once in a while, I can go back to sleep, but usually that's it. Anyways, we're making dinner right now. I've got, I've had night terrors before. I wonder if they're bad. Dude, I feel bad about night terrors are no joke. I told um, you that story. I once famously woke up in the middle of the night when I was slumbering with an ex-girlfriend, not sleeping, but slumbering for like the first time. And I had this terrible dream that I was mayor of a village in a mountain town that was overtaken by giant scorpions. <laughs> and I woke up in the middle of the night and I screamed, SCORPION! And I started like whacking them off her. And then I just went right back to bed. Did she stay with you? Yep. Oh, good for her. You're an insane person. I'm making dinner. I'm air frying my dinner because I'm feeling so lazy. Jeff's making like an exquisite dinner. And we are gonna party up and, mm -hmm. ah! and you guys are coming with me. Come hell or high water, I'm gonna monetize this and see what happens. <laughs> I'm ready. I feel like we really gotta conquer this. So. I'm thinking about it. I have been too. We'll get back and Jeff will give you a breakdown of how the game works. And then I'll give you my opinion. I don't know how it works. Yeah, but at least your explanation will be a little bit more comprehensive than mine. You don't know that. Have faith in yourself. I guess we'll see. We're gonna have some dinner and maybe a drink and get back to you. Stay tuned. All right, guys, the time is now. The reveal is now. We're playing a lawn mowing game and we can't lawn wait. Lawn mowing simulator. <laughs> so it turns out on my new Xbox, there is a game that simulates lawn mowing but not like casually and fun. Uh -uh. No, no, it simulates all the actual work of mowing a lawn. That's right. It started as one of those things because I can never get Lisa Schwartz to play video games with me ever, 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 which is fine, respect, dude. But I finally got her, so thank you, to play a game with me that's Lawn Mowing Simulator. 
And it was one of those things where it's like, oh my God, that's so stupid that it exists. Like, that's so dumb. Should we download it? Like, as a joke? Like, yes. And then you download it as a joke. And I'm like, we're not going to play this shit, are we? And then four hours later, we mowed this guy's lawn. And it was terrible. But tonight, it's all about reclamation and getting it right. We're so sorry to the owner of the old cottage nook. But we're going to do it better today. Lawnmower simulator. Yes. <laughs> Lawnmower simulator. It sucks. I don't think it sucks. I Dude. don't. I think it sucks, but also I can't wait to play it. The thing is, not only do you have to mow the lawn, but you have to do a contract. Like the whole idea is you that. Why don't you tell the internet the name of your lawn mowing company that you <laughs> picked? The name that you picked for a lawn mowing company. It's called Dix Trim and Dix. Come on down to Dix Trim and Dix. A hundred percent your <laughs> name for the lawn mowing company. Show them our lawn mower. But we want to get rid of this one, right? It was turning. The turning radius is garbage. No, we liked it. I thought we wanted the blue Patterson. You know, we're in the black show in the black night lawnmower right now. So we got to get something more tight, like a blue Patterson. Check it out. Can we afford it? Oh, see. Yeah, I kind of wanted that old school one. Eighty-four centimeters. That's thirty-three inches, you guys. Hold we on. Are gla grass collector. Hold on, Jeff. Real talk. Yep. You can convert inches and centimeters. Are you asking me if I personally can? You just did. Oh no, sweetheart, I was reading from the screen. Oh my God, okay, I, I hands down thought you were like some weird ass genius. Harrison, <laughs> ROA. The ROA is perfect for small lawns and tight spaces, like the old Nook Cottage. We should have got the Patterson Blue. The real question here, if anyone else plays this, this would be an amazing conversation. Otherwise, you guys are just gonna be like, what are they talking about? The real question is, so last time we cut the grass. I don't think anyone else is playing. Someone out there is, or will. They're better now. The, la the main issue last time was the last time we cut the grass, it looked like crap. Like we either cut too far down or not far down enough. That would have to do, I think, with the, the height of the blade. Do all of these have the same blade height? I believe so. No, I'm serious. No, I'm laughing because the entire premise of us doing this with how ridiculous it was to be the only people in the world playing lawnmower simulator. And now we're like getting deep. Like in how lame it would be to play lawnmower simulator. But now, if anyone's watching this, you are watching a video about people playing lawnmower simulator, which is the only thing you can do, which is lamer than playing lawnmower <laughs> simulator. Do not make fun of my friends. Nah, man, I'm just saying, we just, we're pushing each other, guys. We're pushing each other just lower and lower. Let's keep going. Let's I think see we're how pushing, far down this goes. I think we're pushing each other higher and higher. You know what I mean? Just enjoy what you enjoy. And if you enjoy us playing, let us know. This could be a whole <laughs> new thing. I gotta get myself into this mower. All right, we'll be back. We gotta like get in. <laughs> Here we are at the Kingsbury House. The garden, beautiful as you can see. The Garden of Kingsbury House is an award-winning cottage-style garden. It requires a general cut. A general <laughs> cut. Wait, we've done this one. No, this is the that was the old Nook Cottage. Oh, we're in like Cottage Town. Yes, we're right. in the Cottage District. And a recommended time of uh, 30 minutes to figure it out. Oh my god. And we're gonna watch this the whole time. <laughs> Here at Dick's Trim and Dicks, we take the time it needs, not the time you want. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you guys. So this is like the least professional way to do this, but this is my POV. <laughs> and um, Jeff is starting off. Wait, did you guys set the blade? Okay, no, actually, the first step here is to walk around and clear off any dog toys that might be left behind. Yes, it's called a ground check. You have four minutes to clear off any dangerous obstacles and rubbish that might trip up your mower. Wait, literally four minutes? Yes. Okay. Dude, there's, I can't find all these dog toys. There's only one minute left to find any obstructions on the grass. I can't see because you're in the way. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Lisa's taken over. I did a very poor job. I only found two obstructions out of the four. Dude, you did great. Corny can really attest to how exciting and thrilling lawnmower simulator really is. Dude, I'm like concentrating hard. On your mark, get set. Mo! Mo! Alright. Uh, uh, uh. This is how we do it. 
I think the blades are seven centimeters. Slow and steady. Here we go. God, get to it. I gotta engage the blades. Get the blades engaged. All right, we're mowing. That's how we mow it. Oh, heck yeah. Wait, what did you engage it to, Jeff? Seven, seven centimeters. How do you know? Are you sure? Yes, positive. On the bottom right by the gas meter. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta concentrate. Be right back. Update. We're crushing it. Wait, where, what are you doing? I just got off. The, we got off the mower to pick up an obstruction, but I just thought we'd take a look around to see how it's looking. All right, let's go. Let's go. We're on time crunch. I told you, we're going to take our time with this because we want to do it right. Yeah, but dude, he has a, yeah, a limit. He's about to throw a party. We got to get to it. Get back in the game, baby. I like to go slow and steady. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lawn mowing. What'd you just say? I asked for you to take me going slow and steady. I want people to see the level of self-discipline you need <laughs> to successfully mow a lawn and do it right. All right, well, now we should flip and watch my version of it. Yes, absolutely, we should, after I get through this patch. Oh my God, in 50 minutes. Slow and steady. <laughs> Lisa has asked for everyone to see her style of mowing, which in contrast to slow and steady, how do you describe it, Lisa? Rockin' and rollin'. Rockin' and rollin'. I can see. Show them what you do. Look at those tight turns. Look at that. Ooh. I feel good. I knew that. I Wait, look at me going in a circle. I'm so good at this game. It's like NASCAR. Dude, I've been making jokes and stuff usually, but I'm really into this. You know, I gotta be serious about it. Lisa, what happened? No, we don't talk about it. We've moved on. What happened? We don't talk about it. We've moved on. Tell them what happened. Jeff? Yeah. I ran over some flowers. I feel very bad about it. I apologize. And we're moving on. Do you think old man Kingsbury is gonna move on? You know what? If I approach him with honesty, and kindness, I mean, he might be mad for a little while, but I think he will move on. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You damaged the ground fine and curd. What? What does that mean? You damaged the ground. Lisa, you're out of control. You're out of control. Courtney, do you like this game, do you think? Would you say yes or no? Oh, she tried to say something. Jeff's got to fix my mistakes. Let's go! We did it. We made it to the end. Look how beautiful it is. Only 62 minutes later. It really took us 62 minutes. Well, we're on our iPhone now because my battery ran out, but Jeff insisted, and rightfully so, that we look at the end. Look at it. We did a good Zoom job. In. Zoom in on that beautifully manicured lawn. It's a little, it's a little funky, but it's so much better than our first time. You guys may think this looks like crap, but let me just tell you what it looked like the first time. Download the game, not sponsored. See if you could do it this well. Yeah. Hope you guys had fun. We had fun. 61 minutes later. 62. Just watch the first cut of the lawn mowing video. I can't believe that's the ending. Well, give us a better ending. Like... Put one of those SpongeBob things in where it's like 62 minutes later, and then you can cut to us looking like death on the couch. Or I could just post this in at the end. 62 minutes later. Okay, good night. Love you guys.